we have 11 teams here from all over the world who've come to race their designs and put their engineering metal to the test in uh, what is a fairly unique uh, sporting event. Go, go, go. Really proud yeah. of the <laughs> pilot, how he's doing, and he's really calm under pressure, so we're really happy about it. It's uh, propeller driven. Uh, we have a mechanical steering to the left and the right, and uh, up and down, and uh, to compensate the roll, do, uh, we do it uh, electrically. They start with a CAD exercise, got to get their boat, they got to make their decisions about their propulsion systems, their control systems, their shape of the boat, all those sorts of things. You got to make all those decisions as a team. So the whole thing's biodegradable, um, it's the most 3D printed um, sub here on the grid, uh, which will see massive technology advancements for us as a team. Very few adjustments this morning, buoyancy um, and also the steering actually goes straight now when we want it to. Our hull is made of carbon fiber, circular motion pedaling system, an electrical system for the direction of the submarine. The idea behind this one was to reduce our mass quite a bit so that we could accelerate more quickly off of the line. And she turns on a dime, so that's good. Basically your hands are right up by your chest so you can move some handles. And your shoulders are tight up against the actual hull. And it's not great visibility and you're not a fish so your brain doesn't like being laid down in water. So our drivetrain became decoupled from our propellers, so our propellers aren't really turning when we are turning. So we aborted like 10 feet off at the start. So we're gonna fix this right up and then we'll be going again. That's the spirit. Yeah. Oh, he hit it. Oh, that's penalty points. I, I looked at the pole and I just ran straight into it. <laughs> that slalom course adds a bit of complication. Um, it's how wide you can take a corner and still get into the slalom course. Some brand new teams have never done this before. Our hatch kept popping open, so we're just fixing, uh, doing some quick Velcro, adding some quick Velcro patches. We had a really low budget of only 3,000 euros. I think we are the cheapest submarine in this whole place. And then we have the best teams in the world, where the record breakers are just about to break another record. So we have the whole range. It's fabulous. Right, folks, that's how that's supposed to be.